This is a um, lesson that I've made for a student of mine, but um, I'm putting it online so that uh, it can be reviewed. And uh, it goes over the basic chemical information that's needed for the um, introductory part of the GCSE chemistry syllabus and pretty much any introductory chemistry syllabus going over the basic structure of the atom. Now, it uses the productive method, which is a method that was in vogue for about 300 years. It's fallen out of use, but it seems to work very well with students who um, have trouble retaining information. Uh, there's lots of repetition in it. And essentially, it's treating the subject as um, a, a language um, rather than uh, as chemistry per se, although chemistry can be taught in the same way a language can be taught, because essentially it has its grammar and uh, we can teach it a very similar way. The student has to answer the affirmative in all cases, repeating the entire question in the answer. Just in, as in my language courses, I'm going to ring a bell at the end of the question. Um, if you want to actually go through this, you can press pause and answer the questions. I would advise this if you're revising for an exam to actually do that. Press pause when you hear the bell and then answer the question. Even though the question's in the affirmative and um, simply requires you to repeat the, the question and your answer, um, it's worth doing as revising the information makes it go into your head and makes it's certain that you do know the material. Here we go. Is everything made of little parts? Yes, everything is made of little parts. Does dripping water wear away a stone? Yes, dripping water wears away a stone. Do we ever see a piece fall off? Yes, we never see a piece fall off. Are the pieces that fall off very small? Yes, the pieces that fall off are very small. Is a small pile of something called a molecule? Yes, a small pile of something is called a molecule. Are the pieces that fall off the stone molecules. Yes, the pieces that fall off the stone are molecules. Does dust seem to dance when we see it in a sunbeam? Yes, dust seems to dance when we see it in a sunbeam. Do things only move in different directions when they are pushed? Yes, things only move in different directions when they are pushed. Is something pushing the dust in the sunbeam? Yes, something is pushing the dust in the sunbeam. Are molecules pushing the dust in the sunbeam? Yes, molecules are pushing the dust in the sunbeam. Is it true we cannot see the molecules that are pushing the dust in the sunbeam? Yes, it is true. We cannot see the molecules that are pushing the dust in the sunbeam. Is it true these steps of the cathedral wear down over the centuries? Yes, it is true. The steps of the cathedral wear down over the centuries. Is it true we never see bits falling off? It is true we never see the bits falling off. Is it then correct the bits falling off must be very small? Yes, the bits falling off must be very small. Do we call the bits that fall off molecules? Yes, we call the bits that fall off Molecules. Can molecules be divided into smaller pieces? Yes, molecules can be divided into smaller pieces. Are the pieces that make up molecules 
called atoms. Yes, the pieces that make up molecules are called atoms. Is everything we feel then made up of atoms? Yes, everything we touch is made up of atoms. Is everything we taste then made up of atoms? Yes, everything we taste is then made up of atoms. Are the atoms usually piled into lumps called molecules? Yes, atoms are usually piled into lumps called molecules. Do the atoms have the ability to stick to each other? Yes, the atoms have the ability to stick to each other. Do the atoms follow rules when they stick to each other? Yes, the atoms follow rules when they stick to each other. Is chemistry a study of these rules? Yes, chemistry is the study of these rules. Are atoms also made of parts? Yes, atoms are made of parts. Do the atoms have numbers? Yes, the atoms have numbers. Is the main part of the atom called the proton? Yes, the main part of the atom is the proton. Is the proton a tiny thing in the middle of the atom? Yes, a proton is a tiny thing in the middle of the atom. Can molecules be divided into smaller pieces? Yes, molecules can be divided into smaller pieces. Are the pieces that make up molecules called atoms? Yes, the pieces that make up molecules are called atoms. Is everything we feel then made up of atoms? Yes, everything we feel or touch is made up of atoms. Is an atom with one proton called atom number one? Yes, an atom with one proton is called atom number one. Is an atom with two protons called atom Number two, yes, an atom with two protons is called atom number two. Is an atom with three protons called atom number three? Yes, an atom with three protons is called atom number three. Is an atom with four protons called atom number four? Yes. An atom with four protons is called atom number four. Is the main part of the atom the proton? Yes, the main part of the atom is the proton. Is the proton a tiny thing in the middle of the atom? Yes, a proton is a tiny thing in the middle of the atom. Is something pushing the dust in the sunbeam? Yes, something is pushing the dust in the sunbeam. Are molecules pushing the dust in the sunbeam? Yes, molecules are pushing the dust in the sunbeam. Is it true we cannot see the molecules that are pushing the dust in the sunbeam? Yes, it is true. We cannot see the molecules that are pushing the dust in the sunbeam. Is it true your soles of your shoes wear down slowly over time? Yes, it is true. The soles of our shoes wear down slowly over time. Is it true we never see tiny bits falling off with every footstep? It is true. We never see tiny bits falling off with every footstep. Is it then correct? The bits falling off must be very small. Yes, the bits falling off must be very small. Do we call the bits that fall off molecules? Yes, we call the bits that fall off molecules. 
Can molecules be divided into smaller pieces? Yes, molecules can be divided into smaller pieces. Are the pieces that make up molecules called atoms? Yes, the pieces that make up molecules are called atoms. Are atoms also made of parts? Yes, atoms are made of parts. Do the atoms have numbers? Yes, the atoms have numbers. Is the main part of the atom the proton? Yes, the main part of the atom is the proton. Is the proton a tiny thing in the middle of the atom? Yes, a proton is a tiny thing in the middle of an atom. Is an atom with six protons called atom number six? Yes, an atom with six protons is called atom number six. Do protons have a mathematical value of plus one? Yes, protons have a mathematical value of plus one. Does each proton have a mathematical value of plus one? Yes, each proton has a mathematical value of plus one. Does an atom with two protons have a total proton value of plus two? Yes, an atom with two protons has a total proton value of plus two. Does each proton have a value of plus one? Yes, each proton has a value of plus one. Does an atom with three protons have a total proton value of plus three? Yes, an atom with three protons has a total proton value of plus three. Do atoms also have pieces with a value of minus one? Yes, atoms also have pieces with a value of minus one. Are the minus one pieces called electrons? Yes, the minus one pieces are called electrons. Are the protons in the middle of the atom? Yes, the protons are in the middle of the atom. Are the electrons around the outside of the atom? Yes, the electrons are around the outside of the atom. If an atom has one proton, which is plus one, and one electron, which is minus one, is its total value zero? Yes. If an atom has one proton, which is plus one, and one electron, which is minus one, its total value is zero. If an atom has two protons, which is plus two, and two electrons, which is minus two, is its total value zero? Yes. If an atom has two protons, which is plus two, and two electrons, which is minus two, its total value is going to be zero. If an atom has three protons, which is plus three, and three electrons, which is minus three, is its total value zero? Yes, if an atom has three protons, which is plus three, and three electrons, which is minus three, its total value is going to be zero. Is an atom that is in total zero called a neutral atom? Yes, an atom that is in total zero is called a neutral atom. Are the pieces that make up molecules called atoms? Yes, the pieces that make up molecules are called atoms. Are atoms also made of parts? Yes, atoms are made of parts. Do the atoms have numbers? Yes, the atoms have numbers. Is the main part of the atom the proton? Yes, the main part of the atom is the proton. Is the proton a tiny thing in the middle of the atom? Yes, a proton is a tiny thing in the middle of the atom. 
Is an atom with seven protons called atom number seven? Yes, an atom with seven protons is called atom number seven. Do protons have a mathematical value of plus one? Yes, protons have a mathematical value of plus one. Does atom number seven have seven protons? Yes, atom number seven has seven protons. Does atom number six have six protons? Yes, atom number six has six protons. If atom number nine has nine protons and nine electrons, is its total value zero? Yes. If atom number nine has nine protons and nine electrons, its total value is zero. Are atoms also made of parts? Yes, atoms are made of parts. Do the atoms have numbers? Yes, the atoms have numbers. Is the main part of the atom the proton? Yes, the main part of the atom is the proton. Is a proton a tiny thing in the middle of the atom? Yes, a proton is a tiny thing in the middle of an atom. Is an atom that is in total zero called a neutral atom? Yes, an atom that has a total of zero is called a neutral atom. Is an atom with seven protons and seven electrons a neutral atom? Yes, a proton, an atom with seven protons and seven electrons is a neutral atom. Is an atom that is in total zero called a neutral atom? Yes, an atom that is in total zero is called a neutral atom. If an atom has three protons, which gives us plus three, and three electrons, which are minus three, is its total value zero and is it neutral? Yes. If an atom has three protons, which is plus three, and three electrons, which is minus three, its total value is going to be zero and it is neutral. Do we call the value of plus and minus the charge? Yes, we call the value of plus and minus the charge. Do we say an electron that has a value of minus one has a charge of minus one? Yes, we say an electron that has a value of minus one has a charge of minus one. Do we say three electrons that have a value of minus three also have a charge of minus three? Yes, we say three electrons that have a total of minus three have a charge of minus three. Do we say three protons that have a value of plus three have a charge of three plus? Yes, we say three protons that have a value of plus three have a charge of three plus. Do we say six protons that have a total value of plus six have a charge of six plus? Yes, we say six protons that have a total value of plus six have a charge of six plus. If an atom has three protons, which have a charge of three plus, and three electrons, which have a charge of three minus, is its total value zero and is it neutral? Yes. If an atom has three protons, which have a charge of three plus, and three electrons, which have a charge of three minus, its total value is zero and it is neutral. If an atom has 10 protons, which have a charge of 10 plus, and 10 electrons, which have a charge of 10 minus, is its total value zero and is it neutral? Yes. If an atom has 10 protons, which have a charge of 10 plus, and 10 electrons, which have a charge of 10 minus, its total value is zero and it is neutral. Does atom number seven have seven protons? Yes, atom number seven has seven protons. Does atom number five have five protons? Yes, atom number five has five protons. If an atom has two protons, which is plus two, 
and two electrons, which is minus two, is its total value zero? Yes, if an atom has two protons, which is plus two, and two electrons, which is minus two, its total value is going to be zero. Do we say seven electrons have a value of minus seven with a charge of seven minus? Yes, we say seven electrons that have a value of minus seven have a charge of seven minus. Is the main part of the atom the proton? Yes, the main part of the atom is the proton. Is the proton a tiny thing in the middle of the atom? Yes, a proton is a tiny thing in the middle of the atom. Is the charge of a proton plus one? Yes, the charge of a proton is plus one. Is the charge of an electron minus one? Yes, the charge of an electron is minus one. Is the proton in the center of the atom? Yes, the proton is in the center of the atom. Are the electrons around the outside of the atom? Yes, the electrons are around the outside of the atom. Is the center of the atom called the nucleus? Yes, the center of the atom is called the nucleus. Does the nucleus have a positive charge? Yes, the nucleus has a positive charge. Do the protons have a positive charge? Yes, the protons have a positive charge. Are the protons in the nucleus? Yes, the protons are in the nucleus. Does the nucleus have a positive charge? Yes, the nucleus has a positive charge. Are the protons in the center, which is called the nucleus? Yes, the protons are in the center, which is called the nucleus. Do we say seven electrons that have a value of minus seven have a charge of seven minus? Yes, we say seven electrons that have a value of minus seven have a charge of seven minus. Do we say eight protons that have a total value of plus eight have a charge of eight plus? Yes, we say eight protons that have a total value of plus eight have a charge of eight plus. Can atoms lump together? Yes, atoms can lump together. Are the lumps of atoms called molecules? Yes, the lumps of atoms are called molecules. Can molecules be divided into smaller pieces? Yes, molecules can be divided into smaller pieces. Are the pieces that make up molecules called atoms? Yes, the pieces that make up molecules are called atoms. Are atoms also made of parts? Yes, atoms are made of parts. Do the atoms have numbers? Yes, the atoms have numbers. Does the number of protons give us the number of the atom? Yes, the number of protons gives us the number of the atom. Is the number of the atom called the atomic number? Yes, the number of the atom is called the atomic number. Is the atomic number the atom's identity number? Yes, the atomic number is the atom's identity number. Does every atom have an ID number? Yes, every atom has an ID number. If an atom has one proton, which is plus one, and one electron, which is minus one, is its total value zero? Yes, if an atom has one proton, which is plus one, and one electron, which is minus one, its total value is zero. Does every atom have an identity number? Yes, every atom has an identity number. Is the identity number the number of protons? Yes, the identity number is the number of protons. Is the number of protons called 
The atomic number. Yes, the number of protons in the atom is called the atomic number. And that brings us to the end of this oral exercise. By the end of it, you should be pretty clear that the center of the atom contains a particle called a proton with a charge of plus one. The outside layers have electrons, each with a charge of minus one. And the protons and electrons, when they are equal, give a neutral atom with a charge of zero. Bye.